enjoyable, but it seems like during that season is when everybody just craves it. But then you're right. You get through March, and I think people are ready for something different. So Kind of overlooked. There, yeah, maybe. Could be. I don't know. I'd go for an Irish fest every now and then. So. Jeff Quick, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm glad to be here. It's good to have you here. Uh, now you brought Tim Crosby up from Southern Illinois. That's right. Man, oh man, you you know where the talent is all over Illinois, don't you? There is a lot of it, and, and he's one of them. We've had him at a songwriter's round, and then another event here in town, and uh, um, I don't know, I can't say enough about the talent throughout all of central Illinois, and, and uh, Tim Crosby is no exception. So Tim, welcome uh, back to Decatur. You were Thank Door you. 4 last week. I hear you were just great. I loved Door 4. What a great place, what great beer, great atmosphere. Uh, wonderful place to be. I'd love to come back sometime. Yeah, the beer kind of helps, doesn't it? It does. Beer always. Do you sing better when you drink beer? No. I do. You might think you do. See, that's the trick, you know. But no, because you know why? Beer has bubbles in it, and eventually you have to burp, and that's not good when you're singing sometimes. So. But that's usually right in the middle of my song. Right. 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 <laughs> All right. Well, Tim, welcome, and uh, what are you going to play for us? I'm going to play a song I wrote um, a few months ago. This one's called By Heart. By Heart. Mm hmm I keep coming back for more But I know there's nothing there Maybe I just cannot find a door Or it's all the wear and tear I'm just sifting through the dust Looking for a reason why All this rotten wood and iron rust It's too much damage to deny Too much damage to deny But a girl like you I always thought Might flirt with love and not get caught But I have been wrong before So break my body, spill my blood Upon the rocks and in the mud let me pour it out for you Oh, I will pour it out for you Well, I still cry And I still fall apart But I'm still learning you by heart When you things to be true well, There's a lot you'll overlook Hard lessons rise from things you can't undo The ones you don't find in a book And we don't get what we deserve Oftentimes it's even worse I never had much trouble with the curve That's both a blessing and a curse It's both a blessing and a curse but a girl like you might turn and say I can't believe he ran away But you have been wrong before So break my body, spill my blood Upon the rocks and in the mud Let me pour it out for you Pour it all out just for you Oh, foolish love's a perfect work of art. 
And I'm still learning this by heart So break my body, spill my blood Upon the rocks and in the mud Let me pour it out for you I will pour it out for you All intentions in redoubt Twist them, turn them inside out Lay them down onto the ground Where they never will be found I misunderstood this from the start I'm still learning it by heart Awesome, awesome, that's great You like that one? Good. Yes, I really do, that was Good. a great, great song Thank you um, How long does it take you to write a song like that? Uh, well, it depends, some of them come pouring out in about an hour and some of them take days or even weeks you know just you do you, you start it and you, you lose it and you come back to it later that one came I think in about two nights work it was about two nights work well, that one seemed personal ah uh, you know I, I think we all draw on uh, all artists draw on things from their life but they not necessarily their own lives I think you draw from other people's lives you know I think that's one of the things about being a songwriter is that you start to you observe you watch a lot of um, you watch other people's lives and you watch what they go through and you can make it your own you know certain things will will reemerge so Jeff you're a songwriter you know you know what he's talking about but you're also discovering songwriters and um, producing and, and recording them uh, how do you differentiate the ones you think you want to spend time with and ones that need it's kind of like star search in a way. Right. Um, well, people that can write a song, I tell people a lot. I said, hey, how many great singers do you know around this area? And they're like, oh, tons. And I said, how many of those great singers do you know that are actually writing songs? And they're like, oh, not so many. You know, so so songwriters, it's, um, it's, a, it's something that you have or you're passionate about. And, and, and so, so like Tim says, maybe it takes a couple days. Sometimes you write a song in 15 minutes. And, and Tim's got some great ones. He's got a great song about a tattoo. It might be it might be PG thirteen. I don't know how how the radio goes, but you're gonna have to hear that sometime. It is uh it is, it is quite interesting. He does a lot of great stuff, not just the slow stuff. <laughs> well, how many songs have you written? Ooh, uh, close to a hundred, maybe. Wow, probably well, getting up there. Yeah. Out of those hundred, yeah. Uh, which ones do you decide you're really gonna go with and to try to make um, make it big with? No, well, there are there are songs that I I write and I finish it and I never play it again. It just wasn't. And it had to be, you have to run out the ground ball, mm -hmm. you know, you have to finish it. But um, I've probably stopped playing more songs than I play. I play uh, over 100 shows a year, and I do uh, three hours, up to three hours of all original music. And, um, you know, um, I songs come on to the starting lineup, and then they leave. You know, I'm constantly turning them over, so it's, it just well, kind of depends. I'll tell you what, uh, your guitar playing is excellent, too. Well, oh, thank you. So you, you must just be loving your job, Amanda. I mean, you get to meet all these uh, great talents. I do, yes. And, and lyrically, that's what's fun is the times that we, you know, got to work with Tim and to watch people, how they interact with him. You know, they're listening to every word and they're loving the story. And like he was telling about the tattoo one, it's hilarious. And you find yourself engaging and suddenly you want to know him more. And so that's what's exciting about well, what's wrong with the tattoo one? Why can't we put that? <laughs> well, uh, you probably can. I mean, what, how far can we go? Uh, it's... Well, we got four minutes. <laughs> I mean, on the language. <laughs> it's not that it's not bad, terrible, but I wish the listeners could have seen Kevin's face. Okay, after maybe that. he can edit himself. You have to buy my CD. One or two words. You have to buy my CD, I think, to, to hear that one. No. Uh, you know, I I'd love to play it for you. But I'll tell you what it's about. It's it about a awesome. it's a tragic story of a guy who gets a tattoo, but he makes the rookie mistake of getting a uh, lover's name put on his skin, and he puts it in a very bad spot. And eventually he has to deal with that situation. Yeah. Maybe we'll, we'll get that scene. <laughs> that very bad spot scares me. Yeah, that's exactly. Part that scares me. Yeah, that's why I didn't think. It is only, a, you know, um, almost 6 o'clock. <laughs> I, I was just going to say, if it was after 9, you let yeah. it happen. <laughs> all right, well, why don't you play us out, Tim? I appreciate okay. you coming all the way up here and playing for a show. All right, I'll be happy to do that. 
This is a song I wrote. Um, I grew up in Pena, and uh, like a lot of small towns growing up there, you have to learn to make your own fun. That's the name of this song. There's some stuff in here that actually happened. Cruising slowly past a pizza joint Kids behind the wheel wondering what's the point That was you and me on a Saturday night Trying to keep it dim without losing our lights Just to watch it run In a little tiny town You gotta make your own fun 